Thank you, Zahra. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Morning Barakah with this health and nutrition segment. And with me we have Sana. Assalamu alaikum, Sana. How alaykum are you? Assalamu alaikum. Good, thank you. And we have more recipes. You know, I've done so many shows and I've figured out that actually this has to be my favorite because we're tasting so much delicious foods. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to what you have for us today. Yes, yeah, so today we're going to be making a date and walnut cake. Amazing. That's really nice ingredients, by the way. It is. It's a mixture of obviously cinnamon inside the, with, the, with the dates and, and the walnuts. And it's, you know, it's a lovely treat to, to have even during Ramadan, during throughout the year. Of um, course. And it's really yummy and it's quick and easy to make, which is what we want. Is it kind of sweet or do you think that it's uh, in between? Well, the dates kind of make it uh, sweet, but it kind of balances with the walnuts. So it's a really good combination with the walnuts. So it actually helps with, with the sweetness. So it's not too sweet. Okay. Um, so, you know, I think it's a perfect. Uh, I know that this is health and nutrition and we're doing a cake. Yes. So tell me and talk me through some of the benefits of this than a normal traditional cake. So obviously we'll be, go we'll be using uh, dates and walnuts, mm -hmm. which uh, within uh, Islam are highly recommended of to course. eat. Um, they do complement one another. Sometimes you would have the dates stuffed with uh, uh, with uh, walnuts and you can have that on its own but we just want to mix it up and make it you know something that you can have at home with friends family or even if you've been invited to somebody's house you can make it and take it sure um, and so I mean overall the ingredients are have many health benefits and um, the dates depending which dates you have mm -hmm. there what are have we got here so um, these ones are the uh, sukri dates is what you've um, used before right yes okay. exactly I do prefer them I don't For know baking exactly yeah. but you can mm -hmm kind of trial and error of different dates to see which one kind of, you know, you like the most. Sure. I, I prefer this one. Um, and obviously we're going to have a go. Do you think though by having the dates, are you cutting down a little bit on the oil and the sugar or? Definitely. So we'll okay. be using less sugar because Perfect. of the sweetness of the That's dates. That's the whole point, you know, exactly. is to actually show we can still have healthy foods, yes. cake, cookies, whatever it may be, and it's going to be a little bit more nutritional exactly. because of, you know, the ingredients that we're using that's going to supplement and substitute yes, some exactly. of that, yeah. which is really important. And we know, as our Prophet, peace be upon him and the family, used to have dates with bread and break and open his fast with it. Exactly. Yes. And it's really important for us to remember that even though we come from religion, it is not just spiritual. I know I have mentioned this before, but I really want to get into it, yeah. that it's, it's so important to look after ourselves physically and to understand what the foods do for us. And I'm doing so much research into uh, foods for your moods. And, you yeah. know, and it goes even beyond that because, you know, I have clients with depression and anxiety and there are certain foods that you can actually have yeah. to, you know, increase, you know, the happiness, in, have better brain function and have better moods overall. Yeah. So I don't just work with the mind, I work with the body as well to increase and improve people overall yeah. and I think the show is so beneficial for everyone exactly, so yeah. um, do you want to start yes, with what uh, you could do first? I will do and also just to add if you have younger children who won't typically eat dates it's a good or well not, this is a great kind of thing to get them into having it because it's a cake of course and they don't so see it really it's yeah. another trick yeah, so I absolutely. really do try to do that um, even myself at home I try and trick the kids to absolutely. have something that they wouldn't usually have mm -hmm. but in a way that they would so a cake most children will like cakes. Of course. So, um, yeah, it's a great way to kind of uh, get your kids involved as well Definitely. to do it at home. And walnuts, as you, I'll just explain a little yeah. bit about walnuts as you prepare, is that it provides a lot of healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. And it's very rich in antioxidants as well. So, we need to be aware of the specific ingredients that we're using today, yeah. as well as um, in increases like um, for you to have beneficial bacteria so you have a healthier gut and it's really good for the tummy and it's really good for you to increase with your overall you know well-being inside yeah. and I think that we also need to know that um, it can help a lot of these foods actually not just the walnuts but it can actually help with lowering your blood pressure and so many of us have these issues of health yeah. And we don't really realize that the foods that we eat can make such a difference with our mood and our overall health over time 
And even though we might think, oh, well, we, we're okay, we're fine, and we don't have that urgency, but when you take care from a young age because you have that knowledge and you have that awareness, yeah. then that can actually, you know, help you have the healthier skin, exactly. the healthier bones, and whatever it may be at an older age. But it, it starts from a young age. And a lot of people say, well, I'm young, I can get away with it. No, you do not. It builds up over time. Yeah. And this is an awareness and knowledge that people should have and use for themselves now. Definitely, yeah, I would agree with that. So um, right now what I've done is I've uh, put two eggs and half a cup of sugar. Okay. So um, I'm now going to... And that's for a whole this. cake? Yep. Amazing. Like, it's not... It doesn't really need a lot of sugar. Like and I said, the cake that you're going to make, is that like for a family size, do you think, yes, definitely? Yes, yeah, it would okay. make a whole kind of um, uh, uh, eight inch, okay. eight to nine inch Yeah, it's cake. a normal yeah. cake tin, right. Yeah which is perfect, which is what we need. We need something quick, simple, easy. Exactly, and that's what we're all about, but really. enough amount. <laughs> exactly. We need to kind of be practical when we think about cooking. When you're at home, you, we don't have time to be in the kitchen for hours to, to kind of, you know, get things done. Um, so it's, this is one of the best ways I feel, you know, kind of making the, the recipe as simple and easy. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about a tablespoon well, sorry, a teaspoon of uh, vanilla in there as well. This is op optional. You don't, okay. you don't need to do this. Um, I just do that because I prefer it. Sure, you must have made this quite a lot because I could not just pour it in like that. Yeah, that I would have to that's, measure it. That's me doing my, my eye measurement. <laughs> that's fine. I see a lot of people that are good at this. So, you, you know, tell me about yourself. Do you know, normally cook? I mean, we invited you here today because you have the experience, you yeah. have the knowledge, um, and you obviously use this in practices, not just for the show. Yes. So we're bringing this to everyone to share. So tell yeah. me a little bit about it. So um, basically, I, I try and manage such a busy timetable at home. Uh, having children, studying, working, and kind of balancing everything. So what I try to do is, a lot of the time, I will prepare things in the evening. Okay. So that really helps. I will prepare things whilst the kids are a asleep. And you're tired from a long day like everybody else. Exactly. But it's still possible, right? It, it is. I mean, I would definitely recommend to do a timetable. It's the only thing that gets me through because every day. Because thinking about something takes so long sometimes, and making the decision of yes. what to make for the next day. Exactly. Prepare okay. what you're going to make. So for each day, have something on mind. Okay. Monday I'm going to make this, Tuesday I'm going to make this. So when you go food shopping, you know exactly yeah. what to buy for those days. It filters, right, for the it's rest of everything exactly. else that you need to plan for. And you can make that same type of food every week and just maybe switch it over on different yeah. days. Yeah. It's, it's the best, honestly, for me and a lot of mums that I know who use the same type of style, it really does help out because you're not thinking, oh, what am I going to cook today, mm -hmm. what's in my fridge? You know what you're going to cook. You have the ingredients. You, you know just how get long. on with it. Just get on with it. Because cooking takes so much of your time. It can and, do, absolutely. And we don't want it to be so much of a chore. You want to yeah. enjoy it and you want to have something tasty and healthy to eat at the end of the day. Well, this is brilliant because this is what the show is about, to actually yeah. show people that we're not just showing some that, something that's unrealistic. This is practical because you are actually, you know, giving us the real deal of what you do at home and yeah. bringing it here to share with everybody. Yeah. And you actually do this and it's possible, it's manageable. It, it is, To yeah. have a healthy household with really good food and you know making from scratch with really in, you know really beneficial ingredients definitely and I would you know advise anyone who has younger children to introduce healthy food from such a young age absolutely I and agree reward your children with healthy food that's mm -hmm. something and also another that's trick true. that I've yes. done with my children where yes. Uh, instead of saying, you know what, you can get a chocolate mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I'll be like, you know what, you can have a baby cucumber. <laughs> okay. And I know it sounds funny, no, but, but them, I totally get that. For them, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I would love to have a baby cucumber. And then they'll kind of be excited for that. But it, like you said, from a young age, then yes. it will be okay. We need to kind of, kind of get that um, mindset of rewards, change it. Why should we reward children with sugary foods Absolutely. and not reward them with healthy foods? But so yeah. we have to kind of have that mindset. I mean, don't get me wrong, we should indulge now and then. Of course, it's yeah. normal. We don't eat healthy every single day. Yeah, but that seems to be the only reward that's available. It, exactly, yeah. especially in Offered. schools. You know, when you go into schools, I'll always be the one that will ten end up with the tangerines for the Christmas party. <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, you know what? They're going to have so many sweets, different yeah. sweets. Mm -hmm. So I might as well give something healthy, whether it's strawberries, baby cucumbers, no, tangerines. And the kids love it. They so absolutely they, do. You know, that's an amazing mind. idea. And I I know you've also you know studied child development and just yes. passed and you know yeah. qualified in that so you know you have that way 
of you know bringing your studies and your courses into your household definitely. and it does work it does i've learned so much and i you know i would definitely recommend all parents to go even if they do like a small uh, you know a parent course just to understand why your child is the way they are mm -hmm. why they have certain food habits how can we you know um sh you know facilitate for them Absolutely. what they need um so anyways so i've put the eggs and the, sh the sugar now i'm going to put two um cups of uh, flour is that just plain this is um flour? self uh raising flour oh, self raising flour okay Do you know i don't I think I've had date cake and walnut cake in a while, so I can't remember the yeah. taste of it, to be fair. I'm normally with the normal plain sponge cakes, you know, you just go for the normal option. And to be fair, it's not really offered that widely, even outside. So it's nice to have something like this where you can make and enjoy in your home. Exactly, There's yeah. nothing better than having that fresh bread or fresh baking, you know, from a cake or cookie to come yes. home to and that smell in the whole house. It's amazing. It, so that's another aroma that does. is actually quite relaxing and soothing. Definitely. It feels it, like home. Yeah, and I use cinnamon in this and I mean, okay. I love cinnamon. I don't know if, I mean, it's not something that everyone loves, but I really do, it's, you know, well, love cinnamon. I think cinnamon's so strong, but you use it small amounts so that hopefully, you know, whether they like it or not, it just adds a tiny bit of flavor to it, but it makes a difference. I, exactly. So if you yeah. don't like it, it's not going to make too much of a difference. Um, so I've put two cups of the self raising flour. Uh -huh. I'm going to put a teaspoon of the uh, baking powder in there. And also, let's not forget. Again, you're not using like the electric whisk. This is enough not to have it so. No, I, so many I do it all by hand, to be honest. Okay. I don't really... But do you not feel like the consistency would be a little bit different if you were to use electric whisk to have it the batter in a particular way? Because I know most cakes recommend, recommend it, it, that. It is, but you know what? I don't bake for other people. I just bake for myself at home. So if I was to do it every day for like professionally mm -hmm. uh, for shops or businesses, I probably would because it takes okay, less time and you can get everything done a lot quicker. But for me, I just like to take my time and kind of just do everything. Sure. No, I hand. mean more so with regards to the consistency of the cake. Does it make a difference or not? I don't. I don't know actually. I think if you're used to kind of doing it and you, okay. you have a strong arm, you get used to it. <laughs> okay, you're going to build on that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in here we also have um, half a cup of uh, sunflower or vegetable oil. Okay. Um, so that's going to go in there. So I've put about a tablespoon and a half of the cinnamon, and so I'm just going to. Mm -hmm. Mix this all up. Okay. It's surprising how you can make, you know, amazing, amazing yeah. foods with just such little and less effort and time exactly. and amazing ingredients. And you yeah. can already smell the cinnamon in there. You know, sometimes you might make it and you and might... And it changes the colour as well, yes, right? exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, what I'm also going to add in there now, which is important, the dates. So... You can... You've pitted them. Right? Yeah, I've pitted them. It's about a couple of dates mm -hmm. I put in there. I do like to use the dates in there for the sweetness, the natural sweetness. Would you well. use the whole bowl? Um, I would use a cup. Just a cup? Yes. Okay, fine. W with this uh, recipe, I would use right. a cup. Okay. So you just quickly break that in there. So, you know, I prefer to kind of have it... A little know, bit. In little bigger. bits, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can actually... Do you think you can taste that in the cake when it's that sort of consistency? Yes, yeah, you can, okay. definitely. I feel it gives it that nice type of gooey... Okay, yes, of course, because uh, it's warm. Exactly, yeah. yes. Okay. And it's really yummy. And this is quite soft, this type of date, anyway. It is, yeah. Right. And you can also use, you know, those small dates um, that are really sticky. Oh, yes. They come in like yes. a, a plastic um, of case. Course. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly which one you're talking about. You can about. use those as well. Yeah. But they've got a little bit of more syrup in there as well, right? They do, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they say that they add some some things in there, whether mm -hmm. they add, like a, like you said, a syrup. Yeah. But, you know, I guess you can use those very well. I think they go very well with um, day cookies as well. Yeah, yeah. So let's just mix this all up. Right, okay. So I also do need to add um, the walnuts in there as well. Again, another cup, do you say? Yeah, I would use a cup okay. and, you know... Do you break that? Yeah, I would mm -hmm. break it. So you see, about that okay, is, is so enough. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Obviously, it's a bit more difficult wearing gloves. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but for hygiene purposes... Of course. We want to make sure, you know, we don't... 
But even in the house, to be fair, because you're doing so many things and you're in the yes. house, you could easily just mistakenly touch something which you shouldn't be touching. Exactly. Because you're distracted and then come back and cook. Yes. So when you have the gloves, you know, you know that you're doing it for that particular purpose exactly. only and you're not going to actually go touch anything else with that. Exactly. But, you know, yeah. Bare hands could actually make you do something when you shouldn't be doing. Exactly. Touching and you, something that's not really clean. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, with the walnuts, you can get your children involved. They'll probably love smashing these into little pieces. <laughs> So, you know, you can yeah, get them at home and they can, you know, be your little help helpers at, in yeah. the kitchen and give them something that's less messy Absolutely. whilst you do the messy tasks. Of course. So, you know, it's it's something fun so how long does this take? So the, the preparation is not much at all. And like you said, if you have all the ingredients and if you're prepared for that, it's very simple. Exactly. How long does it take to bake? So um, the date and walnut cake, I would give it about 40 minutes in the oven. Um, and I would leave that at around 170 degrees. Okay. Okay. Um, but after 30 minutes, I would double go and check it. Sure. And then just have a look at it, prick it to see if anything comes out. Mm -hmm. And if it does, just put it back in for the remaining 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, so I think that's enough in there. Perfect. Right, so now um, we're going to add um, the milk. So the milk is lukewarm. Okay. I prefer it that way because I feel um, it softens the dates a bit more. So when you mix it up, it kind of gives it a, a nicer mm -hmm. uh, butter, really. Yeah, no, normally when I make cake, I usually add milk, I remember, in it. So, yeah, it seems quite pretty normal ingredients to it. Yeah. Right. Sorry, how much milk was that in That's about it? half a cup. Okay. So mix it all together, put it in a tin, and yes. pour about 40 minutes on one, what temperature was that again? So it's about 170 degrees. Okay. Now it could come across quite messy because obviously you're, no, you're mixing quite a few ingredients yes. in there. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks amazing though. So. Actually the butter, the butter looks quite nice. Yeah, and like I said, if you want to add a bit of more cinnamon, you can Depending in there. Taste. Even okay. cardamom, if you fancy putting a bit of cardamom mm -hmm. in there, it's fine. Right, so once we have that, we will just bring the Okay. We will pour it into here. So what I will do is I use a very little amount of oil for the cake tin just to make sure that it doesn't stick. So we have a bit left in here. Of course. Okay. Which is enough. So you just like Yeah, and just brush it over and pour it in. Exactly. Just get all of the edges because you don't. The worst thing is that when you make a cake and then you can't get it out. That's happened to me many times where <laughs> I've tried to take a cake, you know, out of the tin and then you're there stuck for about an hour trying to find a way to get it out. So just make sure you, you know, you fully coat that. So if you see it was very minimum oil in there, it's not much. No, it isn't. Okay. Right. It's fine. Okay, so let me just move this all to the side because we're done with this. That looks quite simple, quite easy, and I yep. cannot wait to have the finished product. <laughs> so we can... I'm quite lucky, actually, in the show. You can I did get to try so many not things. eating anything, so I can actually fill myself up. <laughs> yes, exactly. Go as if you're fasting, so yeah, that you're able to eat everything. Exactly. Right, okay. So you just pour that in. Yeah, we just it. pour this in. so nice just having a look at that all just drop in there. I know, it, the it? consistency looks, ex you know, exquisite. And even the smells of the cinnamon of are course. really strong. It's really nice even before the baking. Yeah. And you know, with the children, they just love to eat the bath and select the end of the... the I know, the, the bowls. <laughs> yeah, even we do actually, so... No, that's right. Right, so you can see that. Okay, so that's going to rise quite a bit then. Yeah, so I tend to just give it a little mm -hmm. shake just to kind of even any yeah. bubbles in there and if you have a look so it should that should be fine um, and leave that in the oven like I had said for 40 okay. minutes under mm -hmm. 170 degrees and then when it comes out leave it to cool down okay and then once it cools down I'm gonna put it away because we've made something already perfect right okay oh wow that looks amazing so this is the after so Oh, wow. If you see, it's okay. nice and brown and, yes, and you know... it's a beautiful colour. It's a really great colour and even like the top bit, if you see how it yeah, opens, it's really, you it's know, amazing. Yeah. Okay. And what I tend to do at the end is I just sprinkle Some a bit of... Sugar. Yeah, just kind of to make it 
No, of course, because wow, that's a bit more presentable. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Something so nice in doing this, it's almost like snow. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow, that is amazing, Sana. Really, really lovely. And now I you love can the try some of this. Mm. Too. Okay, I look forward to that. Right. And it's so nice with, you know, these winter months to sort of have something like that with a nice cup of tea. Exactly, yeah. Or even a coffee. Absolutely. Would be nice. And could you have maybe something on the side with this, like ice cream or hot do. custard? Yeah, or even cream. Mm. Some cream. Okay, well, we're not going to promote the cream so much. <laughs> but maybe some <laughs> ice cream. Oh, we have an over plate. Okay. Let me just have a quick taste of this. Wow, that's So if you have a look... Yeah, you can see, see the almond, uh, walnuts, sorry. Yes, there you go. And some of the dates. Okay. See how you feel. Mm. It's, it's such a yummy treat, isn't it? <laughs> and it's not dry? No, it's not. It's very moist. Absolutely. And it will stay moist for a few days if you cover it with cling film. Thank you so much. That is so beautiful. You're and honestly well speaking, cleaned. I'm going to end this episode quickly so I can finish that off. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's maybe really, really lovely. You're very really welcome. Thank you so much for sharing no that. No problem. I hope you have taken on board as to exactly how to make this because it's definitely recommended. Thank you so much for watching. And we will be back with more delicious recipes on Morning Baraka Health and Nutrition. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Over to you, Zahra and Ali.